What's up guys, it's Don here. In today's video, I will be showing you an updated version on how to play Black Ops 2 on the Plutonium client. So before we get started, you will need a legitimate copy of Black Ops 2. If you don't have one, check the link in the description. Uh, but once you have your copy downloaded, uh, you're going to find where it's installed. For Steam, you're going to have to open up a new folder. Go into your C drive, go into your program files at E6 bit, scroll down to Steam, and go down into Steam apps. Then you're going to go into the folder common, and you'll see your all your games that you have downloaded. So as you can see here, we have Black Ops 2. Uh, with the newer version of Plutonium, you no longer need to make a copy and separate it. Now the launcher installs and you're able to flex between the Steam client and the Plutonium client. So if you still want to play on Steam, you can leave it in here and just run the launcher off of that. Now for the launcher, we're going to go into the Plutonium website. I'm going to click download. Then we're going to click download plutonium.exe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Once you've done that, if you do not have an account, Go and click forum um, and create an account because you will need to log in once you install the launcher. I already have one, so I'm going to skip that. <clears throat> now that we have the launcher downloaded, um, the best thing about the new plutonium launcher, um, as you can see, I already have one on my desktop, is that you no longer have to drag the file into that specific game folder. You can have it wherever you want. For an example, me, I have it in my uh, section right here for games. So if I click that, it's going to open up. Now, if you're running it for the first time, it will download some necessary files. I just finished doing the updated Modern for 3 version, so I already downloaded them. It also already logged me in. But as an example, it will take a while to download those files. Once it's done, you will be prompted with this login. Once again, if you do not you do not have an account, you have the link right here to register an account. But once you've done that, obviously go ahead and sign in. Once signed in, you will have a different setup. So the fact they already opened uh, the launcher and did the Mario for 3 one, we could go over and click on the Black Ops 2 one. Now, as you can see, uh, we should be aligning the same way. So I see a setup button to search for my Black Ops 2 uh, game folder. So we're going to click setup. And we're simply going to go into our Steam directory, which was the same one, which is once again your C drive, program files 86 bit, Steam, Steam apps, comment. And then you want to click into your Black Ops 2 folder and hit select folder. Once you've done that, now you get the play button. So if you hit play, it should launch the game. As you can see here, we did get a pop up. If we go and click online, server browser, we get all the servers for plutonium right here. If we back out, close this out, custom matches, I believe you can unlock everything by hitting the tilde button and hit unlock all, same thing. Unlock all, hit tab, and it should say unlock complete. This will just simply max you out prestige, and you will have all the classes and all the guns unlocked. So once again, if we go into server browser, uh, I really can't see because I'm on 1440p and this is really small, but you can click in any server. So I'm just going to click on this one for an example. 
it would be Nuketown. Gun game. You are and there you go. You are on Black Ops 2, Plutonium Client. It's a bit laggy because my settings aren't aligned, but yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. So, that's pretty much the updated version for 2014 and their new launcher. Pretty straightforward. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Might be War at War, which is their other client, and or Black Ops 1. But, once again, thank you guys for those that are still subscribed. Uh, I'll be making sure to push out these updates on the tutorials that I previously had. And yeah. Bye.